Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. A massive crib recall. Hundreds of thousands of simplicity dropside cribs are being pulled from stores nationwide. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with the details. Two years ago, Call 12 for Action alerted you to a recall of these simplicity cribs. Consumers were then told to replace the hardware, but now it appears even with the newer hardware, the cribs still pose a deadly suffocation hazard. Nine-month-old Liam Johns died in his crib, suffocated when the drop side of his crib came loose and he got stuck between it and his mattress. We were in so much shock that, and it, it took a very long time before we could really sit down and, and grieve. Little Liam had been sleeping in a Simplicity crib, one of the million cribs recalled in September 2007 by the Consumer Product Safety Commission. According to the CPSC, the drop side of the cribs, either by incorrect assembly or faulty parts, can fail and then trap infants. Tragically, three young children have died in these cribs. Parents and caregivers should check immediately to see if their crib is included in this recall. Now, nearly two years later, on Thursday, the CPSC recalled 400,000 Simplicity cribs. The recall involves all drop-side cribs with a different or newer style of plastic hardware from those cribs recalled in 2007. The newer style of Simplicity hardware can be identified by a flexible plastic tab at the top of the lower tracks. Crib hardware failure is actually one of the most common causes of death in cribs. In fact, according to Nancy Cowell's organization Kids in Danger, 30 children per year are killed in crib accidents and 1,200 are injured annually. Now, according to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, Simplicity no longer conducts day-to-day -day operations. Repair kits are no longer available to fix the recalled cribs. Parents, though, are being asked to throw out these cribs, even if it's believed that the hardware has been installed correctly. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.